Hi, I'm here with Mr. DeHinden, an Elkhorn teacher and performer. So, how long have you been playing the Elkhorn? Well, um, I was maybe about 17 um, after playing, say, uh, seven or eight years of the trombone um, that I simply loved this instrument for some reason. And uh, I saw, I got the chance to to try it out. I forgot the person who it was. However, um, I just liked it very much. So, very cool. Cool. Um, when did you start teaching the Elkhorn? Well, um, I did my studies abroad. So, not in Switzerland, in different countries of uh, Europe and in the US. And when I came back, I was looking for a teaching position, an interesting teaching position. <laughs> Um, it's when I got this job here, some eight, nine years ago, um, people asked me, would you mind to teach trombone, uh, not only trombone? And I said, yeah, why not? So, I'd say seven, eight years. So, what made you want to play the Elkhorn, and why do you play it now? Okay. Um, I play a lot of contemporary stuff. Classical and improvised music, contemporary jazz. And I felt like I have to to dig on uh, to search for my roots. Mm -hmm. You know, Alpine is very traditional in Switzerland. And um, just uh, to care, you know, where is my music from? to try to to understand my tradition so I play um, traditional way in a traditional way the Alcorn and uh, but my main goal or my main uh, interest is uh, to with respecting the tradition to do something new mm -hmm. with the horn and how did you learn to play the Alcorn? Was that school or did you well, since it is very uh, similar to the trombone, as you know, yeah. um, I didn't really have an Alcorn teacher. You know, I learned by doing. For example. Shell, giant of course, giant. 
and you have the water and on the other side I'm staying and playing onto the water and when the wind is not blowing too strongly, too heavily, I get up to five echoes and this is of course, it's like a gift of heaven, you know, five echoes. Or something. I know you have played with many groups and people, how has your skills developed and how, what have you learned from those experiences? Uh, experiences which are closer to my culture, using the same tuning, using instruments which I'm familiar with. But sometimes I play um, cultures, like uh, last summer in China, they use their traditional Chinese instruments, and I didn't know, not even know the names of some of the instruments, right? So I've heard them first time, and then coming together and play with each other, trying to respect, not try, respecting the other culture and the musicians, it's just kind of a melting process of giving and receiving starts, you know. Mm -hmm. So I can't really point out something very clear or specific, what I get. Mm -hmm. But somehow, it, you know, you give something and you receive something and uh, it just enriches your mind and heart, your spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was just asking him if he could uh, maybe play something traditionally Swiss. Okay. Yeah.